Oh, hello. I didn't see you there, you just caught me doing some digital nomad stuff. No, I'm kidding. Right, I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm in Japan, and this is my 61st country. I've been traveling the world for the last almost four years now. Some of you that have been following me for a long time will know that. And finally, I've made it to Japan. So to give you a bit of background for people who might be watching this the first time, I've been doing YouTube and video online stuff for the last three years now. And I'd already started uploading videos to YouTube before I even heard about video licensing. It was actually a clip I put up on my channel that then a licensing company reached out to me and said, we'd like to edit this and share this to other places. We can offer you a fee for that. I thought, this is amazing. Yeah, sure. It was actually a, a, a slinky clip, a guy playing with a slinky in China in a market. I filmed it, got back, uploaded that to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page, and also shared it to Reddit, actually. And then I started getting offers for, can we license this? At first, they offered a very small amount of money and I did an ad revenue share. I went back to them and said another company has offered $300, so then they offered higher. And this was the first time when I was first starting making money that I got offered a few hundred dollars for one clip. I don't know if you can hear that construction just started outside as I'm filming this. So from there, I started researching and looking at other companies and services that I might be able to upload clips to, upload my footage, and then I started making passive income from these clips that were just sitting on my hard drives and I could upload them to different places. And now I get a residual income each month from all these clips that I've uploaded. Anyone can do this. You don't need a following, you don't need a YouTube channel, you can just film stuff out in the street while you're traveling, upload it, and make money passively. There are certain clips that will do better. I'm gonna power through regardless, so sorry about the noise. There are certain clips that will do better. If it's newsworthy or interesting or something that might go viral, then people will be licensing that more. For example, that Slinky clip, they've been used by lots of different Facebook pages, news companies, and each month I get a new request. Other ones would be footage of Bangladesh and Dakar because that's an interesting place and there's not that much footage of there so people will be asking for that. Uh, there was even, I uploaded a clip of a goat sounding crazy and I'll try and find that. <coughs> what <coughs> the... And that still I get lots of requests for. Maybe me battling against construction will even be a licensing clip, I have no idea. But, but anyway, the point is, just keep filming loads of stuff and keep uploading it to these services, which I'm gonna list below, and then you can make passive income from your footage that you would do nothing with otherwise. You still keep the copyright and you still keep the rights, you just give another company license to use it, or, and not necessarily give you credit, but to use it for their own program or purposes. While I have a little bit of quiet, I'm gonna try and do a quick outro. There's another service that <laughs> I've just started using and the stuff's found out about called Black Box. I'll link it below. I used to upload to all of these different video licensing sites and put them everywhere, but on here you can just upload to that and then they will sell it to these other sites. Obviously there's a cut, but it just removes a lot of the work for you and I think it's about a 15% cut. You can also, for video licensing and stock footage, you normally have to trim the beginning and the end, do a bit of color correction, put all the title and tags in. There's a way on this website as well that you can just have someone do that for you, called being, called, it's called being a curator, I think, on their website, and then they receive a portion of the licensing fee. You can also do that on the website as well. If you don't have footage, but you're good at editing, then you could curate other people's, and that could be another means of passive income from not even having to film stuff at all. You just use other people's footage and cut it. Like I say, I'm quite new on there, I'm still trying it out, but go have a look at that. Look at all the other stuff I've said below, and that is a way you can make passive income from video licensing while traveling. That's it for now. I'm gonna finish this very quickly because of the noise going on outside, but let me know if you found this helpful, and I'm gonna try and go through a different part of this each week. For now, thank you for watching, and see you again next week.